Hey, doing? This goes to Carlo. Today we're going to talk about how NLP and Scripture line up. I want to say this: that Jesus talked about NLP, neuro linguistic programming, well over two thousand years ago. Now, of course, he didn't call it NLP, but if you look at the principles of NLP and Scripture, you see how well they line up. All of these things really fall up under the umbrella of mind science. Now, as you may or may not know, of course, I'm a NLP practitioner certified as well as a hypnotherapist, as well as a host of other things. What I've discovered in my studies is that Jesus and the founders of NLP have a lot in common. Today, we're going to talk about the acts, seek, and knock, and how these things apply to you today, as well as how they mirror NLP. Jesus says, acts and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door is open. How do these things line up with NLP? Well, we discover in the X. X is the audio portion of NLP. Now, why do we say the audio portion of NLP? What we discover in NLP is that some people are more audio. They hear a thing, and that thing resonates with them because of what they hear. And they say, I hear what you're saying. So that's the NLP. Jesus says X. Again, X is the audio. I like to say with the X portion, we're also using affirmations. When we get into that state of axing, many people believe that it's just the prayer itself, us making the request. But axing is so much more than that. When we get in a state of axing, we begin to occupy the state as if we're having that thing that we're axing for. So for example, we say X. I like to use the affirmations in my axing. What do I mean? I like to say every day in every way I'm becoming better and better. I occupy the state of feeling better and better every day. That's a message that I send to my subconscious mind. We're all sending something to our subconscious mind whether we realize it or not. But we have to be mindful of what it is that we're axing for by way of these other modalities. Now what do I mean? We also say that visualization, visualization or seeking, it says seek and you shall find. What is it that you're looking for? I can recall many years ago when I was in the Marine Corps, I, had, I met a young man who was also in the Marine Corps and he said, well, let's go out. And I didn't give it much thought. So one night we went out and when I went out with this young man, the young man was continuously seeking a fight. And the funny thing was no matter where we went, he got into a fight. And so I realized that I couldn't go out with that young man anymore because what he was seeking was a fight. And of course, if you're seeking a fight, you're going to find a fight. It's like so many people today are looking at reasons to be offended. So of course, if you're looking for a reason to be offended, guess what? You're going to be offended. But let's change it. If you're seeking a reason in your imagination to be abundant, you're going to start seeing all kind of opportunities to be abundant. If you're seeking better health, you're going to discover all type of opportunities to experience better health. Say it's love. Now, if you're seeking love, then you're going to seek and discover all kind of ways to experience love. Whatever it is that you're seeking in your imagination, you shall find. Now, of course, when you start setting your mind's eye on that which you desire, of course, that's what you're going to discover. But if you start looking at the crime in the world, if you start looking at destruction and all the things that are going bad, guess what creators? That's what you're going to discover more of. So be mindful of what it is you're seeking because scripture says this, seek and you shall find. We're also told, knock and the door shall be open. Knocking is this feeling sensation. Everything up until this point has been affirmations and visualization. Now we get into the feeling state. Kinesthetic says, knock and the door shall be open. What is it that you want? When you begin feeling after that thing, that's what you're going to begin bringing about in your imagination. Feel after the thing that you want. Start feeling good. Find yourself in a money state. Now you say, well, coach, I don't have a lot of money. How can I begin to feel prosperous, for example? Well, the way that you begin feeling prosperous is that you take on an attitude of gratitude. You start appreciating what you already have. And when you come across any currency, any type of money, you give thanks. Even if it's the smallest, minute portion of that currency, you give 
thanks for that because what you're telling the universe is give me more of that see universe cannot tell the difference between the smallest amount of currency or the greatest amount of currency so in our currency we call it one cents that's the smallest amount of currency the greatest is infinite so we can talk a billion dollars a trillion dollars when you begin operating that state and you begin living from this they see it's not enough to just imagine being rich it's not enough to even just affirm being rich you have to begin taking on rich activities you have to begin walking in a place of abundance how do you take on rich activities you start finding a way to serve wherever you're at so if your gift is in your tongue you speak if your gift is in your hands then you do the appropriate things that feel right for you but you ask the question how can I help bless empower others and then you begin doing that that's where your abundance is going to be found anybody that you see that's a millionaire a billionaire they found a way to service the greatest amount of people and because they found a way to service them people pay them or they compensate them yes you could be a lottery winner but the problem with money just outright given to you you did not learn how to obtain that money so it's going to be more difficult for you to keep that money unless you bury it in the ground somewhere but it's not serving you it's not to say that if you want something like the lottery that you could not get the skill sets to learn how to manage that money but whatever you do creators you must learn how to manage the resources that are available to you if the only thing you know how to do is to spend your currency then of course what you're going to do is in a very short period of time is find yourself back into a place of lack but when you learn how to manage rightly your resources then you can create more resources so let's go back to the acronym X whatever it is that you want begin to affirm that thing is already being yours and you shall receive seek and you shall find what is that thing that you're looking for is it abundance is it a loving relationship is it better health whatever that thing is begin to imagine that thing seeking in your imagination visualization and see that thing as real now to tie it all up into a bundle knock knock is that feeling state when you begin to feel that thing real when you begin asking first and foremost what it is that you want begin seeking that thing and then begin feeling it real you wrap everything up in a bundle and this is how NLP and scriptures have been tied together, wrapped up in a bow, and given to you in this single package. Remember this, creators, that only you can create your perfect world. Not God or man. Only you can create your perfect world. This is Coach DeCall saying have a great and abundant day.